Heavyweight and Heavyweight Championship Tournament. Fallen Angel Christopher Daniels. The new other show zero in, and these Fallen Angel chants are deafening. Did you say that? What did you say? Because I can't hear you over the chants, man. This is literally the loudest I think I've ever heard these people at Doncaster, and that's saying a lot. Yeah, that is saying a lot, Joe. Is he? Uh, and the crowd responds even louder My for God. the show of respect. Daniels and Lynn, definitely two of the most well-respected veterans in their field today. Absolutely, Joe. Jerry Lynn, who uh, is, I, I'm sorry, he's a godsend to the business of professional wrestling. And everybody who's ever laced up a pair of, ever laces up a pair of boots should wake up in the morning and thank God for Jerry Lynn because he's the kind of guy that makes his business worthwhile. Jerry Lynn defeated Petey Williams to earn his way into this final eight all or nothing weekend tournament. Christopher Daniels had a match with Loki, turned into a three-way Elix Skipper, still on the upper hand. Christopher Daniels managed to win. Fireman's carried by Jerry Lynn into the armbar. Daniels, Christopher Daniels, all men in a mile wide and as tough as they come. Either of these men would be an incredible first 1PW champion. And both of these men have an excellent opportunity to become that champion. Except for the fact that they're facing each other. Absolutely. I know you were applauding for Jerry Lynn as he made his way out. I don't think I'd be too far off in predicting that Jerry Lynn's one of your favorites to win. I'm, uh, I'm not making any predictions, Joe. Uh, why, why pick one of the eight when uh, you know, I could see any of the eight as champion? You know, the, the, the thing about people always thinking you're right, quick cover. People about having people think you're always right is to make sure you never let you be wrong. So I, I'm, uh, I'm absolutely not making any kind of prediction. Certainly definitely consider this one of the most wide open tournaments in professional wrestling history. As really well, with the obvious exception of Darren Porridge already eliminated, this tournament can go to absolutely anybody in, involved. Both Daniels and Lynn not wanting to make any mistakes early on, keeping it basic. Shoots him off the rope to counter the side, headlock with a shoulder tackle, takes Lynn down. Daniels now up and over the new effort show. Lynn pops up, goes for hip toss. Daniels block. Lynn returns the favor. Lands on his feet after the attempted monkey flip. Lynn into the ropes. Satellite heads and just breaks it off, takes it. Cheryl Lynn gets the better of that exchange. Hip block takeover, misses with the elbow. Now Daniels on the upper hand with the arm drag, and both men at a standstill, and a stalemate so far. Look at the intensity on Chris Daniels' face. The man is a machine. And Jerry Lynn, earlier today, Jerry mocked at me when I called him the Exhibition Godfather, a, uh, a pioneer. That's right. He didn't like that. He's, he's a humble, humble man. But it's really so true. Very much so. Very much so. A lot of what you see in the ring, if you're watching, uh, if you're watching that certain promotion from Orlando. Even years before that promotion came into existence, Jerry Lynn and the likes of Sean Walter were having those style of matches in the old. That's what I'm saying. The, the, the work he's done through his career has made that X Division possible. That's paved the way. It was He was X Division before the term X Division existed. And Daniels with a knife edge chops. Oh, and you can win feeling that. Vicious knife edge chops. Well, you know, you know a guy who loves death metal as much as Jerry Lynn when he's in pain probably does think about Kelly Clarkson. I know when I think about Kelly Clarkson, I... Following Angel Christopher Daniels in control of Lynn in the corner, shoots him off. Charging in, gets the foot up. Lynn's off for a hurricane roll. Tilt the roll, backbreaker, drops him, lateral press attempt, two. Kick out by Christopher Daniels. Referee Robert Pisker right on top of the action, checking to make sure that that isn't a choke. Rear headlock, chin lock there from Jerry Lynn. Lynn trying to regroup himself while still keeping the pressure on Christopher Daniels. I was right the first time it was a headlock. What's wrong with me? 
Get them back to us. Do you know what you mean? I'm making excuses for myself. Oh, uh, then I... Yeah, then Christopher Daniels trying to get back up to that vertical base. Daniels, a noticeable pain here. They're able to drive the elbow into the midsection. Off the ropes now, gets the momentum. Wynn ducking the head too early and the STO takedown. That judo move drops a little in the back of his head. You're going to see a lot of that kind of action. The judo, karate out of, uh, out of Christopher Daniels. Big proponent of it. Charles with a couple hard shots taking down Jerry Lynn. Yeah, he's also not afraid to just strike at you. Lynn reverses, but Daniels ducks underneath. Jumping sidekick connects. Right in the mush. Goes to that lateral press. Does not hook a leg, however, and when you're in there with a veteran like Jerry Lynn, that's something you need to do. Wow. Remember that commercial with the eggs, Joe? This is your brain. This is your brain. Daniels scrambled. And it's Jerry Lynn firing back with those shots to the cranium. Sends it in, but Daniels buries the knee into the midsection. Nice reversal. Here's an innovation attempt. Intricate! Stretching the neck and the shoulder in ways it's not meant to go. Like a hammer rock, chin rock, and abdominal stretch all at once. Setting up that upper body of Jerry Lynn for maybe an angel's wings, maybe lost rights. But now it's Lynn's turn to elbow his way out of the submission. But the fallen angel Relentless still on top of him. Shoots him in again, but back body drop. Great sets a balance by Daniels. But was faded right into that trademark Jerry Lynn leg drop to the back of the neck. Lynn was waiting for him the whole time. Dan who we known for scouting his opponents. Right, look out! Spikeboard drop kick! And did you see where that connected? Double feet right in the face, one in the eye, one in the mouth. Christopher Daniels may have a concussion. Look out, Springboard with a Piscato. Lynn connects for the first time of the evening. Leaving it all out here. Not anything back. Both of these men know they have to win this match to advance. How do you hold something back for the next round? You just gotta hope that you win before your gas tank is empty. Absolutely right. It's it's a tough strategy. You want to pace yourself, but you don't want to do it so much that you don't give your full effort. And Jerry Lynn almost had three. That's got to be instinct in the sense of Christopher Daniels kicking out of that. Daniels still noticeably woozy. Jerry scoops him up. TKO time. Drops him hard. That's got to be it. One of Jerry's signature moves. I think we have three. No. Another kick out. Daniels wants this. He's not going to give it up easy. Certainly everyone in this tournament would like to have their very first, be the very first name in a long lineage of prestigious holders of the 1PW Championship belt as Chris Daniels battles back to both feet. It's just like love, baby. You always remember your first. That's right. Measures the point of the elbow into the top of the head. Paid a lot of money that night, I tell oh, you. Oh, please, so. wait a second. Oh, my air raid crash! Drops him down. Wait, 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 look. Lay it fast as no. Lynn cannot believe it. Staring at Pisker. Pisker can't believe it. Correct me if I'm wrong, but that may have been how he defeated Pete Williams to qualify in this tournament. Wow, I'm not even sure if Chris Daniels believes he kicked out of it. Again, has to be instinct for the 13-year veteran Daniels. And it's Lynn firing away at the jaw. Daniels caught it. Oh! Flatliner, face first. Facial reconstruction. Jerry Lynn is dead. He out. Daniels now scooping up a whip, Jerry Lynn by the hair. Urinagi suplex executed, and we know what that sets up. The BME! Best moonsault ever! Double spring, Lynn out of the way, Daniels! Great thinking on his feet to land at the vertical base, but
Lambert charges through with the knee. Now Daniels shoots Jerry Lynn in. Misses, but Lynn springing off. Powerbomb, cover, Jerry. Oh, my God. Again, Jerry Lynn comes within a, a cat's whisker of advancing to the next round. It's been counter move after counter counter move between these individuals. Unbelievable competitive matchup at Kingdom Rear in the first round. And here come the Stephanie Chance again. I'm just, I'm stunned by it. Not sure how well you can hear us, but we will truck on. Daniels jumps to a knee to avoid the cradle pile driver. And Lynn's having none of it, smashes him in the back again and again. Second counter, muscles Lynn over. Counter again, scoops it up. Oh, it's set up for the Angel Wings. Angel's Wings, no! Lynn springs up and hits a Hurricane Rana. My God, duck of the clothesline. And they're on jumping, it's a gurry kick. Oh, quick rolls him. Daniels has him trapped, nowhere to go. And Daniels is victorious.